Good morning, guys. Good morning, so, ma'am. Okay, so um, may I request uh, Jana to lead our opening prayer? Yes, but no. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this day, for another day na yata ni Musamu agad. Lord, I pray, you know nga, ikaw maghatag sa mga wisdom, knowledge, and understanding each one of us na makasabot mi sa lesson ay ihatag ni Ma'am, Lord. Lord, I I pray for wisdom also, gino you know, sa mga teacher, Lord, sa Ma'am Alain, you know, as she um, kanang uh, give her le her lesson ginoo and matag ni niya sa mo alert uh, We lift everything you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Jana. Okay, so again, good morning, guys. Um, today, we will discuss about the week four topic, the business process modeling. So supposedly, I will discuss this last Wednesday, but unfortunately, whole day jud ang amung meeting. No? So sa morning kay sa PBL, then sa afternoon kay ang samu ang kwan, uh, kato SPTA nga election committee. Then Friday, um, Medyo busy uh, last Friday kay na uh, nag-conduct ni o uh, virtual na election sa PTA, general PTA. And then whole day po to siya. So sa morning kay nag-virtual me. And then pagkahapon kay nag-face-to-face -face me dito sa SOTA. And also at the same time, nag-module uh, retrieval or answer sheet retrieval po sa mga nag-modular at ninyo ng mga classmates, okay? So, karoon lang dyan kung naka, um, send on, ano, eh, nakabakante o nakakawat o oras, okay? So, again, we will discuss about the business process modeling. So, what is business process? So, it is a process, uh, a business process is a collection of linked tasks which, um, it will find their end in the delivery of a service or product to a client. It also it has also been defined as a set of activities and tasks that once completed, it will accomplish an organizational goal. And then project uh, management process it govern the operation of a particular organization system of operation and then the operational process it constitute the core business okay we also have supporting process uh, it is such as a human resources and accounting are put in place to support the core business processes okay so as an example, um, let's consider the hiring process of an HR department or the human resource department. So right from posting the job, open, uh, right after from posting the job opening to onboarding the employee, there are multiple steps to involve in the process, okay? Although this can vary from organization to organization, so a simple workflow might look like um, look like from two, four, so seven steps. Okay, so from the HR executive post the job 
update. And then the second step is the multiple candidates apply in a portal. Third is the HR executive screens the candidates and filters the best fits. Fourth is the selected candidates are called for the next stages for the, of the recruitment. And then the fifth step is the right candidate is chosen at the last stage of the recruitment. Then six, the, sal the salary and policy negotiation takes place. Then the last is the offer letter. They will offer letter that, was, uh, that will be sent and the candidate accepts, okay? So the same lang po niya sa a similar siyang process when you will um, entering the college, di ba? So before mo mag-graduate, uh, maybe next year, mag-post si Yusef o um, admission test or op uh, uh, opening enrollment for the incoming na uh, first year college, di ba? So first step is mag-post o announcement ang... Um, uh, ang University of Southeastern Philippines na information desk na um, on this day, mauni ang ato ang um, first day of our admission na uh, admission application and then mauni ang inyong mga requirements na i-prepare. Tapos uh, then ang next step kay di the aspirant students will comply all the requirements and submit it to the uh, USEP, the university registrar. Then third step is they will screen the documents submitted by the aspirant students. Fourth is they will post or text you to confirm that they are uh, you already are uh, you passed the document screening and then they will give you a schedule of your entrance exam. Then fourth, uh, no, kapilan to na step. Then next step is mag add to mo sa date na gihatag or sa schedule for your entrance exam. Then next step is they will check your um, scores if you pass and then they will email you that you pass the exam and then your score is fit on this only fit to the uh, to the following courses okay since usep is not giving you a full privilege once you pass the entrance exam so it depends on your score if you qualified in the it course or if you qualified in the engineering course whatever so the the list of um, possible course that you can get is the BS Forestry, I think. So, muna siya. So, kasagaran nga masulod dira ah, sa USEP. Kung gamay kag score, but uh, acceptable gyapon ang score. Passing gyapon, pero gamay mong score. Then, dira ka masulod. Okay? Um, whether you like it or not. Okay? So, muna siya. Then, once you pass, they will send you the uh, confirmation that you pass the entrance exam. And then, next, um, they will give you another list of uh, documents or requirements that you will comply. The next is you will comply again those requirements. The next step is um, they will give you another confirmation and also another uh, schedule for the screening test because once you pass the entrance exam test, and then they will confirm you that your score is can be acceptable in the BSIT, but naagya puntay ko an ana um, another step because not all of you will be accepted in the IT because only 50 slots, I think, 50 students will be accepted for the IT na course sa USEP. So, muna siya. So, next is once you were qualified or you have your slots in the IT course, then they will confirm you that you are accepted in the IT course. If not, then um, they will uh, recommend another courses that you can get. Okay. 
Then until na and so on, so medyo mahaba yan siya yung na step until na accepted ka na jod. Okay? So moreover, businesses rarely operate at peak efficiency to make sure that an organization is doing as well as it potentially can be you'd need to constantly reevaluate improve and sometimes even completely rework your processes okay so business process modeling is a good start for that okay so para masabtan sa mga uh, for that uh, that example like sa usap na admission na uh, application in exam so para mas masabtan sa mga applicants so muna need need jud sa school nga magproduce of business process modeling okay so what is business process modeling so it is a graphical representation of a company's business processes or workflows okay as a means of identifying potential improvements okay so why we use why we should use business process modeling so at its most basic um, basic uh, business process modeling helps with introspection so you get a deeper understanding on of how your processes work and the way out the way your business functions, okay? Other than that, however, there are several, several other benefits. So, muna sila mga benefits ni business process modeling. So, first is, it will improve the efficiency of your uh, business process. Okay, so the main function of business process modeling is to improve the way the processes are done. As a given, you'll find different ways to improve the way the process works which leads to higher efficiency, productivity, output, and finally, the profits. Okay? Next, uh, next benefit is to enforce best practices and standardization. Okay? So, if you're running a big organization, there's a good chance that different teams do the same process differently. So, creating the best practice design ensures that Everyone knows how to do the process, okay? Third, <clears throat> um, process agility. So if your business process analysis is a norm within an organization, they will eventually develop a culture of innovation and change, okay? So by being able to constantly tweak business operations, you'll be able to evolve in the face of technological change okay then fourth transparency okay everyone within your organization will be more or less aware of how your processes work okay what's the goal how it operates etc okay this leads to accountability who owns what process becomes transparent then last, it will beat the competition. Okay? So as a result of all the other benefits we've mentioned, you'll be able to beat and outlast your competition in the long run. Okay? So what are the techniques on the business process modeling? So first, we have a flowchart diagram. Second is the business process modeling notations. And third, we have data flow diagrams, okay? So in this lesson, uh, or in this year, sa ato ang subject, we will only focus on the flowchart diagrams, okay? Be uh, why? Because uh, it, uh, this flowchart diagram can only relate in our programming. Okay, na side in our subject. Okay, so what is a flow chart? So a flow chart is a picture of the separate steps of a process in sequential order that represents an algorithm, workflow, or process, showing the steps as boxes of various kinds and other uh, and their order by connecting them with arrows. Okay. 
So flow, flow charts are used in analyzing, designing, documenting, or managing process or program in various fields for illustrating a solution model to a given problem. So a flowchart also is a diagram constructed from connected shapes representing a process or a plan. This is the example of flowchart, okay? So as you can see, uh, it has a start in the shape, then going to the uh, next step, and then the diamond shape, is asking for a confirmation, then if yes, what will happen? Then if no, what will be the next step? So that, okay? And so on until na ma-reach natin yung end na part sa process, okay? So traditionally, uh, flowcharts originated in computer science as a tool for representing algorithms and computer programs. But the use of flowchart has extended to the representation of all other kinds. Okay? Why you need to learn flowchart, flowcharting? Because um, flowcharting is a basic step for you to understand uh, for you to understand and for you to be able to read the codes, okay? Or the pseudocodes in the programming world or side, okay? Field, okay? So once na magets ni mo ang, uh, siya, ang concept ni flowcharting, then dili na kayo ka maglibog or maglisod later on sa pagsabot sa mga codes, especially kung dili ikaw ang naghimo sa codes, man siya. Okay, then, asana terapet. So nowadays, flowcharts play an extremely important role in displaying information and assisting reasoning. They help us visualize complex processes or make explicit the structure of problems and tasks. A flowchart can also be used to define a process or project to be implemented. Okay, so the first symbol in flowcharting is the oblong okay so that uh we will call that symbol or shape as the terminator so its purpose is to represent the start the starting and ending point of the system so duha lang dyan na uh use so from ang um, first is ang start then ang end later on ko mag end ng imuhang process Next is the rectangle shape. So we call that as the process. So it indicates some particular operation. So there are, um, imo it define kung unsa na mga, unsang, unsa na siya nga process or step ang um, particular nga na adra. Okay. Next is, uh, I don't know what, uh, what. Do we call this shape, but in flow charting, this is document. Okay, so wavy ang yahang ilalum na part. So it looks like a rectangle, pero wavy ang nasa baba. Okay, so it represents a printout such as the document. So, um, for example, sa inyohang sa inyohang step later on, like na isa ka part na na uh, ang end sa uh, or ang um, next step ay uh, na sa inyong process kay na siya output na magprint siya o document like um, good mo uh, for example um, process on how to get a good moral certificate from the school so ang isa ka step ana uh, is to uh, the registrar Officer or registrar, uh, ala, registrar officer will print a will print the good moral certificate. So mo na na siya ang document, okay? Good moral certificate ang nakaname ana siya. Ala nga process. Next is the diamond na shape. So 
we call that as the decision, okay? It will represent a decision or branching point, okay? Lines coming out from the diamond indicate different possible situations, okay? Leading to different sub-processes, okay? So, kung naakaisa ka step na naasya different possible na situations, so, ang imong gamiton kay ang decision na symbol, okay? Kasagaran, mauna siya ang katong if-else na statements, okay? So, diraan yung may butang sa diamond ang condition sa imong if-else, then if true, what will happen, then else, then what will also the next steps, mauna siya. Okay? Next, the input or output. So, um, so yun siya, parallelogram na siya nga shape. Okay? It represents information entering or leaving the system. An input might be an order from a customer. Then an output can be a product to be delivered. Okay? So, kung sa imuhang process, need ni mo input from the customer or other people. So, just like sa ito ang enrollment na process or admission na process. So, di ba need na to requirements from the applicant. So, mo ni siya itong gamito na shape. Okay? Uh, the applicant or the the applicant will submit the requirement. Then, yahang output later on, syempre from that parallel, parallelogram, so, um, uh, requirements submitted by the uh, applicants or the applicants will submit the requirements. The next step, ana, di ba, ang katong process, di ba? The, the school registrar will screen the will screen the requirements received uh, received from the applicants then the next step ana ang output na dayon uh, the school registrar will um will release or will uh, release again release confirmation or or letter to the applicants if they passed or failed Okay, so next one on page connector so circle na siya na shape then it connects two parts of a flow chart which are on the same page okay next the off page connector so it connects two parts of a flow, flow chart which are spread over different pages okay so kung taas kayo imuhang flow chart Dili siya makaya in one page sa paper sa front page sa inyong paper, then you will use that symbol para mag-connect siya sa likod. So, mag-end sa inyong front page, mag-end sa off-page connector, then sa likod, another one. Para murag ilanan lang na, okay, nag-continue, dra-adapita siya. Okay? Next is the delay or bottleneck. So, it identifies a delay or a bottleneck. Then the arrow, uh, this is what we call the flow. So it, refer it represents flow of the sequence and direction of a process. Okay? Hinahanglan jud, unlike sa ato ang domain model, um, dili required ang arrowhead. So sa flow chart, kailangan nato ang arrowhead para mahilan nato kung asa pa dulong ang next step. Okay, okay Michael Jun. Maman say bottleneck ma'am. Bottleneck um wala pa ko ka try ana ka si tawag na encounter ana pero i-introduce lang din ako siya sa inyo Adri ah. So delay daw siya, okay? It identifies delay. Or usually wala kayo siya ginagamit. Ah okay ma'am, thank you ma'am. Okay. okay, so flow na ta. Next is, okay, so yan na siya, flow. Then, uh, naapay other nga shapes or symbols sa flow chart na wala, pa na, ako, wala na ako na discuss because wala kayo siya ginagamit. Pareho sa bottleneck, okay? So, kini akong mga discuss, maudyo, kani akong gi-discuss karon, maudyo ni sila ang very important or common na symbols na ginagamit kung maghimot ka o flow chart. 
Okay. So next is the logical structure. So the same lang yap po niya sa kung magcode magcode ta. Okay. Like sa Java or sa Okay, so logical structures some are sometimes called the control structures. It serves as a building blocks for process for the process. Okay, so each logical structure must have a single entry and exit point. There are three logical structures. Okay, so first is the sequence. Okay. Ang sequence, one or more of the steps might represent a sub-process that contains additional logic structures. So, ang sequence, like, like its meaning, di ba, magkakasunod lang sila. So, muna siyang isa sa logical structure, okay? Sequence, like, magkasunod-sunod lang sila, okay? Next is the selection. It is the completion of one or... One of two or more process process steps based on the result of test or condition. Okay, selection. So dra draan na siya magstart sa atong decision na symbol ang kaning diamond. Okay, then usually either a itawo ang si term na sa English. Basa ka ng ina question form siya ang yahang unod sa atong decision na symbol. Okay. So again, selection. If there are multiple na situation na ato ang agian later on. So for example, kani so more the more than forty hours na ba siya? So if yes, then it will calculate the overtime pay. Then if no, then continue lang siya sa baba. Okay? Na siya. Next is the iteration. Okay? Same na siya sa codes. Kung nakaagin mo sa Java nga code ninyo, ang iteration mo na siya ang loop, di ba? For loop, while loop, do while loop. Okay, kana sila. The completion of a process step that is repeated until a specific condition changes. So, it's also called as the looping. Okay? So, maugya po niya nga scenario or symbol sa itong magamit. Ang decision nga symbol o ang process nga symbol. Okay? So, for example, kani, end of file na ba siya? Then, if yes, then it will continue below or continue on the next step. If not yet the end of file, so it will print the paycheck. So, magbalik na po siya. Then, ang next arrow ni print paycheck, kaya mo balik siya sa taas sa decision na symbol. Then, it will ask again, end of file na ba? Then, if no again, then print na po siya sa paycheck. Then, balik na po siya sa taas. End of file na ba siya? Then, antod sa if mag yes na, then next step na po ta. So, nga na lang man, di ba? Ay, no, kabalo naman mo, Ani, sa Java, no? Okay? So, muna siya itong tulog ka logical structures, okay? Ang selection, ang sequence, o ang iteration, okay? And then, these three logical structures can be combined in ways to describe the processing logic, okay? Next is, okay, when to draw flowchart diagram. So using a flowchart has a variety of benefits. So first, it helps to clarify complex processes, okay? Especially kung complex po ang system ninyong himuon, um, creating a flowchart diagram might uh, can help you to, can help you and your other co-programmers um, to understand the process of your system, okay, and also uh, the uh, your client, okay, by showing this flow chart, by showing the flow chart diagram of your system to your clients, they will also understand or easily understand on how your system works, okay. Next. It identifies steps that do not add value to the internal or external customer. 
So including the delays, the needless storage and transportation, unnecessary work, duplication, and added expense, and also the breakdown, breakdowns in communication. Next, it helps team members gain a shared understanding of the process and use this knowledge to collect, collect data, identify problems, focus discussions, and identify resources. Okay. Then fourth, it serves as a basic for designing new processes. And then next is how to draw a flowchart diagram. So first is to start with a flowchart containing just the task. Then second is break it down into smaller or more specific steps in another flowchart. Then third, uh, consider any possible exceptions in the flow. If so, then add decision node for the alternative path. Okay, so kung naay, what if um si user uh, si user kay exempted sa aning uh, process or ana ana then add na po ka og decision nga symbol and then magcreate po kag alternative path para sa iyaha. Okay, then fourth, lastly, keep on repeating this process until until you've reached steps that are simple enough for everyone to fully understand it okay so mo siya ang example so first is the initial flow chart so we have this start and end na symbols and then isa lang ang ato ang unod no ang pro, ang wash hands till it till it uh, till clean Wash nyo mo yung kamot hantod sa malimpyo. And then, next step is to break down ni mo ang task. Okay? So, first is you turn on the water. Then, second is to dispense the soap. Kuha ka og sabon. Then, third is imong hugasan imong kamot hantod malimpyo. And then, next step is rinse soap off. So, hugasan ni mo yung kamot na put sa tubig. And then, turn off ni mo ang water. Then, the last is to dry your hands. Okay? So, next step, um, basi naapagyapon tayo ma... So, tawag ano eh. Naapagyapon tayo ma breakdown pa jod into smaller nga process. Dari asa to ang ikaduhang flowchart. So, muna po ni siya nga ito ikatulong flowchart. So, first is from start. So, turn on na to atong water. The next is to dispense the soap. Kuha tag sabon. Sunod kay rub hands. Then, nag-add taog the, uh, decision nga uh, symbol, which is sa imong pag hands, nalimpyo na ba imong kamot? Then, if no, balik na puta, rub gap na itong hands. Then, nalimpyo na ba ang kamot? Then, if yes, nalimpyo na. Then, Imo na pong uh, maghugas sa kasi mong kamot sa tubig with the soap, di ba? Then next is the, is it turn off imong water, imong palungon ang tubig, uh, palungon imo ang faucet sa tubig. Then last is to dry your hands. Okay, muna siya. So muna siyang basic na step. Napunta na sa programming na side. Okay? But before, um, okay, points to keep in mind while developing a flowchart. So first is flowchart can have only one start and one stop na symbol. Okay? Isa lang jud atong start, then isa lang po ang atong stop or ang end na symbol sa atong flowchart. On-page connectors are referenced using numbers. Okay? Off-page connectors are referenced using alphabets, okay? capital letter na alphabets. Then, general flow of processes is top to bottom or left to right. Okay? Ang atong flow chart dapat kay top to bottom lang jud siya. Okay? Dili ito magsugod rin sa ababa, then pasaka. Okay? From top, then pababa. Ang flow sa inyong flow chart okay? or process. Or pwede po left to right. Ah, no. Sorry, baliktad ako. Ano. From left to right. Okay? 
so next arrow should not cross each other so dili jud pwedeng na na nakai arrow padulong diri ade ah, naghimo na pug kag arrow nga ni pab, ni agi siya sa koan sa isa ka arrow okay na siya so for example we have this java code okay so unsay ginabuhat ani nga code may I ask uh, Kabaluman mo basag code no? How bitaw mo? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, may I ask uh Jendelu? May I ask Jendelu, uh unsay ginabuhat aning Aning code na tong example. Excuse me, ma'am. Sa tong question, ma'am. Um, akong question kay uh, i-explain or describe ang kaning Java nga code exam sa example 1 kung unsa ang yahang um, ginabuhat or unsa ang process nga yahang gina-execute. Ah, yes, uh, Keith. Doon, ma'am, gina-ask niya ang first number sa user o ang second number tapos iyang gina-add. Okay, very good. Okay, so muna siya, no? Very simple siya na uh, code. Nag-ask lang siya sa user o two numbers, uh, for, uh, first number and second number, and then yaha lang gi-add o gi-print ang sum. Okay, so muna siya. How to convert this into a flowchart? Muna siya. Muna to ang flowchart. Okay? So, natay start na symbol. Then next is read A. So, assuming na ang A kay integer or a number na gi-enter ni, gi ni user, then second uh, process kay gi-read niya ang B or um, second na gi-input ni user. And then, process niya kay gi-calculate niya ang sum as a plus b as a plus b okay gi-add niya ang duha ka numbers in the input ni user and then next is it will print the sum una siya then end na ang process ingan na ra siya ka simple guys okay sa yun ra no <laughs> okay next one so, money ang yahang example, no? For example, nag-start na ang atong program. So, assuming na ang input ni user kay uh, 529, then sa second step, nag-ask na po ang ato ang code or ang ato ang okay, terminal. Sa terminal, mani na ninyo ginako ano? So, uh, nag-ask na po ang atong terminal or another or second number. So, muna siya, nag-input si user 256. So next step is the it uh, the um, code or ang, ang processor kay processor kay gi add niya ang duha ka numbers sa gi input ni user so 529 plus 256 then uh, last nga himuon sa tong code kay iprint niya ang sum so gi print niya ang sum na 785 after that then Mag-end na da yun ang atong code sa terminal. Ano siya. Okay. So next one is. Okay. So example number two. Write an algorithm and draw a, draw a flow chart to convert the length in feet to centimeter. Okay. Sige daw. Isa'y makahimo og algorithm. 
Okay, Michael June. Mamasay ka lehan sa algorithm o flow chart. Ang algorithm kay mo na ang atong codes mo sa programming. Ang flow chart kay kanang simple lang siya nga illustration on how the process works. So the same lang na sila ang algorithm kay ina code lang siya nakakode. Tapos ang flow chart is illustration ng lots of shapes. Nana. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. And then these two will be related, can be related to each other since parihal lang man sila o process ng ginahimo. Okay, tama na siya. Okay, so... Again, example number two, write an algorithm and draw a flow chart to convert the length in feet to centimeter. Okay. So, mauna ito ang code, di ba, sa Java? So, first is, nag-ask o input from the user na length in feet. Feet, okay? Then, mag-enter si user o integer na which is the length tapos ang atong ko ang ato ang uh, code kay mag compute siya since ang ato ang conversion so from feet is 1 feet is equal to 30 cm then i-print the dayon sa to ang code ang length na in centimeter uh, na naka-convert na siya into centimeter. Okay? So, mo ni siya ang ato ang flow chart. Okay? First is start na symbol. Next is the process like input the length in feet. So, mag-enter si user of uh, integer, for example, 10. And then, i-process na yun siya sa itong code no? from, uh, from 10 feet times 30, then mahimo siyang 300. So, the length in centimeter, centimeter is equal to 300 centimeters, then i-print na da yun sa itong code. Sa itong code, oh, yun siya. Okay? Then, it will stop. So, another symbol ni siya. Ang kaning print in ang kaning print LCM. Another symbol ni siya pero kasagaran wala kayo ni siya ginagamit kan ang ginagamit kay ang katong kuan. Ang katong ba, uh, rectangle or ang process, okay? So, do you have any question, guys? My question, humana mo sa koan sa week number three. Nakastart mo kanser sa week number four. Ma'am. Yes po. Atong sa, ano gani ma'am sa week three nga let us assess module three. Lang ha, lang sa na ako ha. Oh, ano sa may naa dito ah? Dito ko na stack up, ma'am. Kaya ka ng libog, mga good kaya. Libog, mga good kaya kuhan mo baka itong given nga situation, good ma'am kaya. Di ma'am po good may po yun ay magpataka lagbutan sa conceptual class, ma'am ba? So, mo ito mo marag. Isod kaya siya drawingan o domain model. Kuan, wait na. We have to develop it. Kato lang, di ba? Like, ang ato ibutang sa conceptual classes kay kato, itong mga na identify na nouns. 
Yes, ma'am. Tapos, mm-hmm. tagan man tagdaman, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Ikuan lang kung unsa ang katong nouns nga na fall dre as a category list. Then, naadyo yung mga ubang nouns dira ang nga dili siya mabutang dre as a category list. Ito lang. And then, ang domain model, okay lang man po kung dili pa kayo mo sure maging sa at, uh, buhatan siya attributes kada uh, domain notations. So, kato lang sa ang nouns lang sa adjud ang inyong gamiton sa pag-construct sa domain model sa step 3. Kato lang. Oh, sige, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, welcome. Another question. Basi na po may kuan pang utan or ang saba? Follow-up na concerns? Kato lang, ma'am. Kung sa left as as is. Ito? <laughs> okay. Ito lang. Sab- maayo ang nasa ko. And given a situation, then katong mga na-identify ninyo na noun sa first step, then inyuhang i-analyze kung asa sila dapat ang ma-fall na kategory sa step 2. siya. Sa so, pag-imo domain model at ma'am, kailangan siya connected ang all? Dili, uh, dili siya necessary nga ang isa ka katong noun ni mo or domain notation kay dagan siya o na-connect. Okay? Dagan siya connection sa other nga notations. Um, it's okay and normal na naalang siya at least isa nga na-connect. Okay? Sa so, kung asa siya dapat ma-connect. Ana. Okay po, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Dira pud ang dira pud ang libog, ma'am, ba mag-create og domain model kay ang ang kanang arrows arrows, ma'am, kay murag. Isud man gano pataka og butang <laughs> kay masagsaag. Sige lang, try lang kay ato ay nang i-discuss later on ini makasubmit na ang tanan. The correct answer. Basta ka to lang siya. Okay, okay lang, ma'am, para mag, mag- dili pa sure sa mga answers kay murag. Okay pa mga nga, di pa kayo sure sa answers kay kanang na. Galibog po d- kumang mm-hmm. kami mga. <laughs> yeah, right. Thank you kay ma'am. Basta, dili siya necessary na sa isa ni mo ka notation or sa isa ka table kay connected siya sa other pod nga notations. Kana. At least na alam siya isa nga na-connect sa other nga table or notation. Kay, kanang si Tom, ano eh? Kay dili man d- sa uh, Okay, naman d'yo yung anak ng pieces. Okay? So, maulang po. So, napay pa mata na? <laughs> Ay, reminder. Ang ha? So, naka nahinahinayan naman ako check ang inyong mga output sa Google Classroom. So, reminder lang ko sa mga output sa uban ha. So, napay wala. Wala ka submit. Okay, so, wala mo siguro ni. And then, nag-post uh, po ko sa itong classroom o summative test niyo so paki uh, check ng kwad to and then submit ng pod ang inyong answer. Okay, so makita na to siya dali pa. So <laughs> So, makitaan mo na dali sa classwork, no? So, na dali sa inyong summative test exams. Okay, so na siya. Na na dali a ah, due date niya kay no on November 5, November 5 so tanan sa Mativ ang deadline niya kay November 5 so pati ang inyong sa Mativ exam 4 okay Ina siya Okay guys so no lang siguro to any ano any concern mag mag meeting yes, karong so, Wednesday ma'am Okay, karong Wednesday. Muna no, kana maglisod ko og pangita og bakanteng time ba pag on-site ko, on-site mo ko diri as a school. Um, 
Kanin kamutan na ito mag-discuss. Maka-discuss karong Wednesday para sa week 5. Para next week on time na dito ang ato. Ang buwan na dili na tamali to one week sa discussion. So, mag-prepare lang tatanan on Wednesday. Same lang gap ng time, alas 9. Ano siya. So, ang tasks, ano ma'am, sa week 4 and week 5, ang deadline, next week pa or karong nga week na po ito? Um, wait lang ha, tanong saan na ako. Okay, ang sa week 5 kay next week ang deadline. Ang sa week 4 kay karong Friday. No, kaya? Kung pwede ma'am, isabay silang doon next week. Para <laughs> next week? Okay lang sa mga, yes ma'am. Oh, okay, Rapod. Mm -mm. Okay ma'am, thank you ma'am. Welcome. So, napailay yung pangutan na. So, I think wala na. So, that's all for today. Thank you for... Um, joining our class for the uh, for the week for discussion. See you on Wednesday. Goodbye. Thank you, ma'am. Ma Welcome.